hello friends in this video i am going to show you uh, some of the pega ootb activities and also a uh, few pega frameworks so even just for the awareness and knowledge purpose as well at least you need to understand okay these are the different types of ootb activities are available in pega for so and so and purpose apart from that also uh, pega has providing a lot of frameworks here i am not explaining about what is framework and framework application you already aware of most of the people already aware of the uh, framework and frame, framework applications so even someone will ask you can you please explain some list of available frameworks in pega or what is the uh, use of this framework etc so that's why i'm just making this video for only for uh, knowledge purpose or awareness purpose okay these are available these ootb activities are available in pega and these are the list of frameworks which are already available in pega so first we'll go through some ootb activities okay for example so these are the ootb activities so i think you already aware of what is the importance of ootb activities because most of the functionalities we can achieve by using these ootb activities okay because uh, uh, let us suppose if you want to generate a pdf if you want to send an email if you want to export an excel file if you want to parse an excel file uh, if you want to move from one stage to another stage or if you want to transfer assignment or if you want to do the finish assignment if you want to release a lock of the work object if you want to download an excel file and if you want to parse the csv files so like this there are lot of functionalities we need to implement it in pega instead of for that we need to write some code right so even people doesn't know how to write a code let us suppose i want to generate a pdf file how do you write a code definitely it is not at all possible you have to write a lot of java code inside that you have to write a lot of java code to generate or to download the pdf file so why should i bother about all these things writing the java code etc right because pega intention is not only java developers everyone who doesn't have any java knowledge also they can work on this bpm tool so that's why pega already provided a lot of ootb activities which are nothing but a functionalities you can directly reuse it see this one finish assignment to work list if you want to uh, move to the work list if you want to route it to the work basket if you want to release a lock uh, release lock uh, if you want to create a work object or if you want to uh, reopen the already resolved work object uh, uh if you want to run a report definition if you want to parse an excel file if you want to generate a, uh, if you want to convert or if you want to generate a pdf file if you want to send an email or if you want to send a notification if you want to close a case forcefully or if you want to transfer an assignment from work list to work basket etc or if you want to change a stage from one stage to another stage if you want to do the set ticket if you want to remove remove ticket if you want to trigger a rest invoke how the connect rest will work internally this py invoke rest connector will work or if you want to when you run the case when you click on run the case right internally py start case will be overt back to will be executed if you want to create a new operator you can use create operator or if you want to delete an assignment you can or if you want to acquire a work object show stream Uh, rule checkout when you click on checkout right what's happening internally rule checkout this is svc add work object is the ootb activity which is used to create a new work object so like this uh, there are lot of lot of ootb activities resume flow to skilled group reassign start flow restart a stage add assign fix problem assignments if there is a problem in the flow when you click on retry problem flow right because even in the actions of your assignment in the actions of your assignment uh, retry problem because sometimes if you get any error or exception in your flow or an assignment uh, when you click on that retry this this ootb activity will be executed in the behind so this is attach as a pdf a pdf file will be attached to the case MSO parse Excel file. This activity, OOT activity, will be used to parse an Excel file like this. Okay, if you want to update the status of the work object, this is update status. 
if you want to add a new work party so so all these are the overtip activities see there is a overtip activity get next work when you click on get next internally this activity will be executed even at least for a knowledge purpose also you need to understand some most familiar most familiar overtip activities because just summarizing some uh, most frequently used overtip activities here i have listed down but apart from these also there are a lot of other overtip activities okay see if you want to delete an attachment if you want to delete an attachment which is already present to the case uh, if you want to route it to the current operator so like this so these are most frequently used uh, work objects sorry overtv activities see one by one finish assignment two work list two work basket release lock and even in the interview point of view also they will ask you some questions can you please list down some of the overtv activities which you have used in your uh, implementation so because we are we are not bothering about all these things okay when we use change stage step or uh, change stage automation shape or when we use send an email when we use a generate a pdf but what is happening internally you don't know right so at least for a knowledge purpose also you need to aware of all these activities over tb activities release lock add work reopen uh, notify assignee px force close px change stage because i have extracted and listed down these activities send a simple email add covered save and continue when you okay close work item resume flow to skilled group reassign start flow px restart stage so like this process service level events fix problem flow py view as a pdf mso parse excel file so if you are not aware of the purpose of this activities also you just open this activity in the dev studio and you can you can see the description and usage so in each and every activity they have mentioned right this is the description and usage what are the input parameters and what is the logic inside that you can easily understand at least up to some level you can understand okay so for example for example i am not aware of this update status what is this activity we'll see this one uh, update status activity okay where is update status yes this is update status work dash class and just go to the history update the status of a work item and call resolve if it is has been resolved this the activity gets called from the various places including work dash assign work dash etc it sets the status and calls another activity recalculate and save to update the agency etc so like this there are overt back to so many places we need to use this one okay transfer an assignment to work basket so let's see what is this what is the transfer assignment to work basket even see in the real time also if you came across uh, some scenarios uh, check is there any ootp functionality already there most of the times most of the times pega intention is okay i don't want to trouble i don't want to make a difficulty the usage of this tool i can provide most of the features within the tool itself so people are developers or designers please extract which is, please extract or please identify there is some overtb functionalities so try to use those functionalities okay now what is this activity uh, so transfer assignment to work basket it's clearly explained right the name itself is clearly explaining self explanatory sla activity for transferring an assignment to work basket this activity gets executed through sla the activity reassigns the work item to the work basket so if you came across such a scenario you can directly reuse this overtive activity so that's why uh, just for a knowledge and awareness purpose uh, i have listed down all these overtb activities so these are some of the overtb activities these are some of the overtb activities just uh, just uh, for your idea purpose okay okay now coming to 
another one so and also nowadays most of the clients and applications are depending upon the framework applications even if you in the real time uh, when you are working on a banking applications or when you are working on insurance and healthcare domains etc everywhere if everywhere most of the times uh, framework applications are your application is built on framework application okay so what are the what are the list of frameworks which are available i mean pega providing okay these are the list of frameworks provided by the pega uh, for example uh, foundation for insurance if you want to develop for a insurance application customer service claims for insurance product composer for healthcare this is foundation for healthcare care management so foundation of life sciences this is for life sciences framework similarly there is a financial frameworks etc see this one smart investigate for payments smart investigate for security smart dispute framework so you might be some of the people might be came across these frameworks in the real time scenarios also the customer at service for financial services customer decision hub cdh client life cycle management kyc kyc framework client life cycle management okay uh, apart from that there are uh, what is foundation for communications marketing for communications agile studio autonomic event services this is for aes pega aes autonomic event services pega diagnostic cloud pdc predictive diagnostic cloud predictive diagnostic cloud robotic process or automation rpa sales automation foundation for manufacturing uh, federated case management customer services customer process management where is this customer process management okay so these are the sum of the next best action advisor we will use in the cdh okay uh, agile studio there is some government platform marketing for communications all these are the all these are the pega provided frameworks all these are the pega provided frameworks even in the interview point of view also some people will ask you can you please tell me the some list of frameworks provided by the pega so what are the frameworks you have used in your experience okay and even people even some people doesn't know okay these many frameworks are available even there is a bix framework right mm -hmm. so bix extract is one of the functionality in pega but normal in the personal edition you won't come up with the bix extract again this is an extra library or extra add on extra add on pega bix see this one business intelligence exchange this is additional add on okay web mashups sales automation robotic process automation okay so all these are the all these are the additional frameworks provided by the pega depends upon your client requirements and depends upon the type of application going to be developed by the client what client will do is client will purchase these frameworks client will purchase these frameworks along with the, the original enterprise prpc software okay because all these are add ons all these are add ons because i am doing um, let us suppose i am working for a city bank application city bank client okay i am making i want to develop one application because uh, the required features the required features are already present in the smart dispute framework assuming smart dispute framework then what client will do client will purchase the smart dispute framework so your application is built on smart dis smart dispute framework similarly there are some healthcare related there are some kyc related there are some um, insurance related frameworks like this there are some uh, sales related frameworks um, see this one there are some customer services related there are some pharma related frameworks there are some cdh related frameworks there are some underwriting underwriting for personal insurance see sales automation for insurance underwriting for life insurance underwriting for commercial insurance etc so as i told you this is a financial framework healthcare framework healthcare domain financial domain life sciences domain okay so there are pega is providing a, so many frameworks so many frameworks and even this is also for your knowledge and awareness purpose because uh, uh, if you if you cannot understand i mean at least if you are not aware of all these things 
uh, it's not good even you are good in pega because all these are basics right even tomorrow you have to suggest to your client sometimes okay pega already providing this framework pega so we can reuse we can purchase and mean we can use this framework to get more features to get more features what is the use of the framework always framework is for the reusability purpose framework itself is a reusability purpose ready it's ready that means there are some features which are already available in that okay so these are the these are the sum of the frameworks these are the sum of the frameworks provided by the pega you can go to the pdn and you can explore more about uh, these frameworks okay i hope at least you understand you get some knowledge on okay what are the ovtb what ovtb activities what are the list of frameworks available etc okay thank you